How's it going guys? Welcome back to Quentin Tindiganga. Today we are at the Safari Outdoor uh, Balfour SA Hunters um, gong shoot and it's absolutely freezing. We hit a minus two on the way here on the gravel gravel road. There's still frost on the on the grass and it's absolutely freezing. It's 10 past seven and the sun is only peeking over the little little mountain there. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a good day. There's loads of people here already. Um, I think it's going to be a busy one, um, but stay tuned. Let's hope it's going to be good. Holding thumbs and hoping my adjustments are gonna be good on my 260 Remington today. So stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting on range two. As you can see, they are busy shooting behind me. Um, that's a double rest from an X-Stick. Um, if you don't know what an X-Stick is, it gives you support um, in the front of your rifle and the back. Um, sorry, the sun might, might be messing around. Distances is anything from 118 meters up to 173. So a technique what I'm going to do today is I'm gonna adjust for 150 meters. Um, yeah. That's going to set me up to have all of my shots within the 200 mil um, long area. So hopefully that's going to work well for me. And then on my on my cheat sheet here, um, I know where to where to aim on the gong, just to make sure that I'm hitting it center. So let's see how it goes. Well done. Okay, so range two went really well. I got a full score on that, so super stoked about it. So it seems like the adjusting holdover is working well thus far. Next up is range three. That's going to be shooting over a big trailer uh, with it seems like just like a, a bag. I'm not sure what what bag it is, um, but yeah, that's going to be the rest. So distances here is 174. Um, up until 226 so I'm gonna adjust here for 200 meters and then just doing that holdover thing it just keeps the stress down and you're just aiming where, where you want it to hit so um, let's see how this one goes well done Kuno. So range three went really well as well. Um, yeah, got a full score on that. So it seems like the adjusting and holdover is working quite well. Next up is range four. This is anything from 270 meters up until 315. Five shots over a big hay bale. Um, so this is going to be an interesting one as well. Let's see if my luck continues of having a full score. Hopefully it does. Let's see. Well done, Moy. Nice. But. Nice. But. Okay, so that wasn't a good round at all. Um, as you can probably hear on the camera, the wind has picked up quite a bit and I didn't see it. My whole team didn't see it. Um, yeah, so we didn't have a good round. I only got two out of five. Hopefully now, um, yeah, hopefully it's gonna go better now. We know the wind, we know the adjustments needed. So hopefully that's gonna set us up for success. Problem is, I'm shooting against that, that little mountain there again. Um, so it might be faster, closer to the range. But let's see what's, what, what it's gonna do. Yeah, 
Well done, Kuna. Well done. Okay, mixed results in the previous two courses of fire. Um, so the one went really badly and the wind pushed me around quite a bit. Um, that was from the Bucky on an X bag. I think I only got one there, if, if I even did. Um, after that we did a further distance one uh, that was up until 379 meters. I think it's anything from 318, something like that. Um, yeah, that went really good. That was uh, lying in the prone position and shooting over a, uh, a bag full of, full of feed. So that, that went really well. Got a full score there, five out of five. Last course of five for today. This is just 96 meters, which sounds easy. Problem is that you've got only one rest. Um, so what, what, what you need to do is you need to hold one stick, try and hold it, hold it steady and hit gongs at 96 meters. Let's see how that's gonna go. So just some stats for the day, I got 21 out of the 30 gongs which placed me 103rd for 230 shortest. Uh, my team only got 68 of the 150 gongs, which placed us uh, 39, 39th of 46 teams. So yeah, it wasn't a great day, but it was loads of fun. So big shout out to S Hunters Branch, Balfour, uh, the Diker, Diker Branch uh, for an awesome event, well organized, um, loads of fun, bit of a challenge, but it was it wasn't too bad. I don't think it was it was something that uh, that was too challenging or impossible. So thank you very much. Big shout out to Safari Outdoor for getting involved in the industry, for putting back and not just taking money out of the industry, but um, reinvesting it and then just um, being nice guys. And thanks a lot for Greg, for, um, the representative for Safari Outdoor. He's the manager for a Boxburg branch of Safari. So thanks a lot and thanks for getting involved. So yeah. That's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style and um, yeah, I've got loads of work to do still. Um, get back to the drawing board and get some more time with my long rifles. I think I've been neglect neglecting my, my long rifles quite a bit. Focusing a little bit too much on pistols maybe. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Cheers.